Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Hit or Miss by Pewter Bleep. So this starts our theme week one day late. That's my fault. <laughs> my bad. But we're still going to do the full week, Tuesday through Monday this time. But uh, the theme this week is indexing. So indexing is basically just anything that involves counting. Counting along uh, a line, counting along a row or column, counting rows and columns in general, that sort of thing. So indexing is the theme, and you'll be we'll be visiting a bunch of constraints that involve counting. So make sure your fingers are working. All right, <laughs> cool. Well, let's go over the rules for this one. We are doing hit points today. So we have normal six by six Sudoku rules, meaning in each row, each column, and each two by three box, we are placing the digits one to six exactly once each. We also have hit point clues outside the grid. Um, let's go over the example that's given here. So if column four read one, two, five, four, four, six, three. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say we have a hit, which I'm gonna mark green. If it mat if, if as we count down, it matches our count. So I'm gonna start counting with one. You always count from where the clue is. So this three would start from here. It's not based on the column number or anything. So starting here, we're gonna count one, that matches, two matches, five doesn't match. Four matches. So we did one, two, three, four, five, no, six, no. So one matches, two matches, three does not, four do does match, five do doesn't match, six doesn't match. So you just count down. If it matches the count, then it's a hit. And the here, the seven is going to be the sum of the hit digits. So one plus two plus four is seven. That is our sum. So this would be a way to fulfill this column, but not the only way. Don't assume that's the solution. And that's it. Just remember that like this three and this two are going to count this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. All right. We have relatively small sums for all of these. I don't know if that's kind of forced because it's hard to it's hard to match your like if you think about it, you kind of have a one in six chance of matching. But um, I think two is very, very small, right? We cannot even use two distinct digits to add to two. Like two digits adding two is one plus one. That repeats the one. So the only way we're adding to two is just putting a two here. And the rest of these are misses. So um, I don't know. I mean, it's tempting to just pencil all of these and remove the hit. I'm going to hold off on that for a moment, but I may end up over penciling this. Um, Let's see. So what's this two do? It removes two from these. It, it puts a two down here. Um, let's think about threes. We have a bunch of threes. So three is either going to be a one, two like this. You know, one, two here. Or sorry. One, two here. Or one, two here, et cetera, et cetera. Um, or it's just going to be a singular three as the only hit. So either these two hit or this hits. So this can't be four. This can't be five. This can't be six. And this is either one, two, or this is a three. And these don't hit. So um, we know a two ends up down here. If it ends up here, it's a hit, and this ends up a one. Oh, interesting. If it ends up here, we can't do the three at all. Because so we have a two here, then we can't do one plus two, and we also can't put a three where the two is sitting. So this is not a two. So if this is a two, this is a one. Otherwise, this is a two. So this is, can only be one or two. Because imagine, if, if it's one, that forces two here. Um, sorry, I guess put it this way. If this is a two, it forces this to be a one. Otherwise, if this is not a two, this must be a two, because we have to put a two in the box. So this is only one or two. And if we look, that means this three here can't do the one, two thing, because it breaks this cell. So it actually is just going to put a three there. Let's put a three down here somewhere. I don't think that's super helpful, is it? Well, this is not a three because it would be a hit. So three is over here. This is not one. This is not two, if that matters. Is there any more I can glean out of this or no? What about, th what about this three? Okay, it does affect this four, right? What, what's four going to do? It's either going to be one plus three, or it's going to be a four on its own. Those are the options. But one plus three eliminates all the options to make three over here. We can't do one plus two, and we can't do a three on its own. So the four is going to be a four here, and the rest are misses. Not one, not two, not three, not five, not six. Huh. 
Um, what do we do with that? Four is up here somewhere. I don't think the placement of the four makes a huge difference. Oh, uh, what haven't we looked at? So this three, again, I'm not sure what to do with this three. It's either a one, two, and then a, th or then a three here, or without a three here, or not one, not two, and the three here. Three here would put a three here. We should put a three here. We should make this one, two. I mean, it, it works. It's just a huge cascade. Um, I'm trying not to over pencil, but I may need to start penciling. I don't know. Maybe this, maybe the six or the seven. So six is could be one plus five. Okay, I guess there's something to say about this cell, which is it can't be one or two. Because if it's one or two, we have the same problem down here. If it's one or two, then we can't add the three with one two, but we also can't put a three there. So it's not one two. So it's from three four five six, I guess. And so that means we are not doing 1 plus 5 for the 6. Now 2 plus 4 seems viable enough. Makes this 3. 2 plus 4. I don't see an issue with that. Or we could just put a 6 down here. And the rest wouldn't hit. I don't think a 6 down here is a problem either. Okay, so I'm not sure what to do with that information yet. How about the seven then? Do we have any restrictions on this digit? Um, I don't see how. I don't see how we have that restriction. Um, so we could do one plus six. Force this to be one, two. So I guess I should say this can't be one either. This is three, four, five, six as well. It's not a four either. Uh, do we have more that I can like do for that? Hmm. I think it's just the three and the it's just the three that would really do that from what we've got left. Okay. So we're not we could do one plus six. We're not doing two plus five. Because there's a four there. And we're not doing three plus four. Wait, okay. I is that it? It's just one six. So we're not doing one, two, four, because this can't be two. Uh we're not doing one. Sorry, we could do one six, and I think we are doing one six. We can't do 2, 5 because of this 4, and we can't do 3, 4 because of this 3. Well, that's handy. So the only way, and we're not doing 7 on its own, <laughs> so the only way, only thing we're doing is 1 here and 6 here as hits. And that makes this 1 and 2. Okay, 1's one of these two. Let's just fill this triple. This is fine. Uh, in fact, the 3 ends up here, and this is a pair, a 2, 5 pair. And so this is 1, 4, 6. That's not a 1. All right. Um, this is a triple. Two, three, four, five. This can't be four and this can't be five. Those would be hits on this three. So if this is three, four, five, this is one, six. And down here, this is four, five. Okay. This can't be a five because the three can't, I can only hit the three. So this is five away from that three. So this is four. This is five. This is six. That's a one, four pair. Up here, we need a two, five. And up here, we need a three, six. Now, we can't hit the three. Can't hit five or six. That's fine. We can't hit on the four either. Can't hit five or six. All right. That works out. Um, is it the six now? Oh, the three can't use the one. So this has to be our three now. It gives us six and three here. That gives us three here and three here. We get the four and the five. That's a four here. This can't be two. So this is five. This is two. This is five. Two would be a hit on the three. Over here, we need one, two, six. This can't be two, and it also can't be one, because it would be a hit for the four. So that's six. And this can't be two. So this is, oh, sorry, this is one and two. That's six and one. I think we're finishing up. Uh, down here, we, oh, what do we need here? Let's do the columns with this one here. This is a two, making this five and two. Here we need a four and a six. That's four, that's six. That's one, that's four. Then over here we need a one and a five. All right. Very nice. That was a cool puzzle, Pure Bleep, and I'm glad I didn't have to over pencil it because <laughs> I was worried I'd have to like keep track of all the ones that each individual cell couldn't be, and I ended up just blasting a dent of pencil marks. But that actually flowed really nicely. Um, I like how the clues flowed into each other. Um, and I was very surprised at the 7, how the 7 ended up working out only being 1, 6. That seemed like a key deduction. 
All right. Well, very nice start to the theme week. Um, and if you enjoyed this, why don't leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.